It's midday. This is Solo. We're on Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Now, we are enjoying like the time of the woman. I feel like women are just really doing their thing. Not that it's anything new, but I feel like we're finally being recognized and we're getting our respect for it. So, today we are talking to the queen, Nyjah. She has a new project coming out on the 17th. That's this Friday after the butterflies. Now, when I think of after the butterflies, that makes me think of like. You know, when you get into a new relationship mm-hmm. and the dopamine is crazy at mm-hmm. first, it's like, oh my God, girl, I can't get enough of him. And then it, the dust settles. Yeah. The butterflies fly. Oh, away. my bad. That was just so loud of a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, that's exactly where we are. Okay, so please, where. What's happening after the butterflies? What's after going the butterflies, on? oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still with my man. Okay, good. but you know, um, in the beginning, it's always like, in the beginning, it's always the the newness and everything like that. It's yeah. like you you have these uh, there's nothing wrong, mm-hmm. no wrong can be done, mm-hmm. no wrong can be done. But after a while, you know, if when you're in a real relationship, yeah. you know, because real relationships go through real things, mm-hmm. then you know you things start some things start to hit the fan and, and and sometimes things happen and you just you you want to a person like me I want to express it through my music you know um you can only keep hidden for so long yeah. before you know you can't portray a perfect picture the whole time um but yeah I mean so these songs are about some moments that I was facing um in in that in that moment but we good now okay so have you ever had a moment where you actually expressed your feelings on the song before you expressed your feelings to your partner um yeah does it kind of yeah, help I you have. figure out i never how put it out it? before but okay i never but most of these things he probably already he probably already know <laughs> So I mean, he, he, he know rehearsed. he, mar- he uh, not Mary. <laughs> he uh, he know he would a singer, you know. Right. He know what comes. So he that. never like heard something and went back and been like, "Babe, was this was this about me?" Um, no, uh, <laughs> no. I've uh, like I I keep it you know straight up with him. I mean, I'm gonna I'm write good songs about like but, uh, mm-hmm. the butterflies, yeah, part one and two, and then if it's other stuff that I want to talk about, I would talk about that too. And, yeah, you know, you get it all. I feel like your fans are so in love with you because you're like a home girl. You're relatable. You're expressing maybe some things that they don't know how to express themselves. Like you you give us like real girl expressions mm-hmm. and we love you for that. When you are putting your collaborations together, do you consider who do I think my fans will rock with as well? Um I you know, to be honest, I don't think about that. Yeah. I, I just think about who would sound good on the song. And mm-hmm. my and my supporters, they're they going to rock with anybody that I I do. You pick you them know? well. You pick, okay, Thank so do you. we have features on this EP? I do. I do. I who have features. Uh, we got, I'm just saying, we got Monica. Oh, um, oh, is this exclusive information? Is this uh, the first time I mean, you're saying this? Pretty much. Go ahead, run that list, girl. Go yeah, ahead. We, we got uh, Monica, uh-huh. uh, which I am so, so, so honored for her to. I love her. Whoa. I can't I believe it. Wait. We got Gonica. We got Gonica on my album. Oh, uh, I cannot wait to hear y'all uh, together. I love I love that song. Oh, it's called one of the, It's called Just One of Them Days, that song. Um, But it's not a sample, but that's what it's called because the, the word play on it is like, you know. <laughs> and then um Ella hot. May, of course, my, my R and B sister. Yes. We yes. toured together on um uh for the Mary J. Blige tour. So it was only right that we did a song yes. together. We got Eric Bellinger, he's so so talented. Man, I, I really sat there and, and I, I watched him come up with a verse in ten minutes. Wow. And like he, I've like, always heard that about him though. I've heard that he's not, super no, creative. Eric, yeah. Eric is woo. Oh. Man, he is I, man, he's so fire. Um, of course, we got the song I put out with NBA Young Boys. Super, you know, a lot of people probably misunderstand him, but he was very sweet to me, and and he he he's a streamer. I mean, I mean, they they yeah, yeah. yeah he was very you know supportive of the record and stuff like that. But like, he streams crazy. So. Misunderstood is a is a great word to use. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's a track, uh, self love. Yes. Talk yes. to us about that. <laughs> Oh, self-love, self-love. That, that must be Kadife's favorite, because as soon as I said self-love, huh, huh, huh. Uh, that's I your love... favorite song, Kadife? All right. Oh, is it? Really? You know, people people always get mad at me because I'm, they're like, what's with these samples, girl? But, man, the people that I listened to growing up was sampling other people's okay. music, too, and ain't nothing <laughs> new up under the sun. So no. I'm going to keep doing my samples. No, not every song is going to be a sample, but if it's a good sample... I'm gonna put it out, yes. and you know this one happens to be another sample. Uh, to me, Tamia officially 
officially missing you, I this is officially it. loving me. Oh, so officially oh. loving myself. Mm. Um, that's what the song is pretty much about. And I wish that I could. I wish you could hear it. But um, I wish I could you'll hear it, hear it on Friday. Why can't I hear it? You know, oh, I gotta wait till Friday. Okay, cool. We um, wait you till know, Friday. maybe we can talk about something after this. Okay, but, I like that. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I would. I would. I would say it's a it's a self love song about just the self. We always writing about other people, and mm. sometimes you just gotta put that love into yourself. Not we're always writing about because not everyone writes, but I'm always writing about mm -hmm. um, like you know other people. But I wanted to just write about a, a self. Bring it home. Yeah, a love song. What myself. could you tell young women about love? Because I feel like so many people are having a hard time either just identifying what their non-negotiables are or, you know, just even being, so many people are guarded mm -hmm. right now. What would you advise people who maybe want to find love? Like, want to find love, like, like find their partner for yeah, life? Yeah, find what their you mean? person. Um, you know, <clears throat> I would say, because cause there, there's always, like, people always say that you need to be whole um, and love yourself before, yeah. before you get with someone else. Um, and I feel like that's the ideal thing because because then like you know what to accept and you know what mm. <clears throat> you know how to like draw boundaries and stuff with the person you love and you know how to and they don't have to do extra work to make you uh love yourself. But sometimes it's not like that. Like yeah. cuz I'll be the first to say when I met when I met Clarence um I wasn't really like my 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 self-esteem was very low. Mm. Um, I couldn't say that I fully loved myself then. But when I met him, you know, he really helped me see, like, myself. You know, he some, so sometimes, like, I don't, I don't want to say, like, completely love yourself before because that's not realistic sometimes. But just try. Just try. Just take your time. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess the, the more whole that you are, um, it'll be better when you get into a relationship because you don't have to have somebody else build you. Right, right. Um, they can only just add on to you, but they don't have to go into, like, take care of your traumas first. Yeah. Try to take care of your traumas Your first. partner is not your therapist. Yeah, because they have their own traumas. Yeah. And it, like I said, it's not going to be perfect when you go into a relationship. Um, y'all may have things to work on with each other. Um, but yeah, just try to take care of that as much as you can because if not, it's like... You gonna spend time trying to love yourself in a relationship more than you trying to get to know the other person. So, so when the butterflies do fly away, how do we get them back? How do we sustain a healthy, loving relationship without that butterfly feeling? Um, I feel like you gotta keep things spicy in a relationship. Mm. You gotta do new things, travel, um, go new places spicy. with yeah, go new places with each other. Uh, uh, and. I want to say this, like a lot of times people don't include this, but you have to keep God first in yes. the relationship. You got to pray together. Like nothing can work without him. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you keeping God in there, pray together, read together, um, try to find new things out about each other, do things that you've never done before. Uh, and therapy. Therapy yeah. is actually a really good, a lot of people don't believe in therapy. They don't want to pay the money for it. They feel like, Somebody that don't know them can't tell them about their life. But it works. And sometimes it really helps to have, like, an unbiased person um, that's gifted in that area to, to help you break down and get to the root of things. What's your personal favorite track on the album and why? Or on the EP and why? Um, my, my personal favorite track on the EP. Hey, why you do that? I just had to ask, girl. I just had to ask. The people want to know. I don't have a favorite. Oh, okay, I have a couple of favorites. Okay, that's uh, fair. I really like my first. I, I like I like fading away. Okay, um, fading away is a. Actually, I wrote that song. Um, I'm sorry. I wrote that song at night, like late at night, when I was. When you hear the words, it probably whatever I'm singing about is probably happening at the same time. It's such a good title though, like fading it, away after the butterflies, fading away. Like they all, yeah. kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, I like it because it was just a very vulnerable song, and um, I mean, all of them are vulnerable, but it was just a very like, is my true. It resonates with that that moment um, that I was singing about the most. 
I don't know if that just made sense what I said. But it resonates <laughs> with that timing. Yeah. I mean, you know. That's where you were. Yeah, that's where I was. So it talks. I mean, I feel like that's the song that describes how I felt the most, to be honest. And were then, you actually in the studio with the people that you feature on your album? Or did they just send you their, their part? Um, I was only in the studio with Eric. Uh, I think everybody else, you know, people busy. So yeah. we had to send. And sometimes it don't work like that. Does it change the energy, like, when you're it, with someone in the studio versus not? Yeah, it does change energy for sure. Mm. But it's still, I mean, it's still good regardless. It's, it's magic. Just, yeah, but when you're in the studio with that person, it's like you really get to know that person. And, like, the chemistry is, you know, really, really good. Tell the people why they need to listen to After the Butterflies Friday the 17th. Um, Why? Why? Why not? Okay. Why like, not? Who, who is it for and who I'm does a, it serve? Who is it for? Who is it served? Mm -hmm. um, well, I feel like the things that I write about, even though they're for me, they're for everyone else yeah. that's probably going through the same thing. Um, and I feel like every anything that I talk about, somebody has been through it before. Mm -hmm. So probably I can't just right say now. it. Yeah, I can't just say it's for me. The, the self love is for everybody, every single person. Not not. <sighs> there's no 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 age, no no gender, no race mm -hmm. self-love everybody needs it so for sure going there for that song and you know the rest we absolutely appreciate you coming by hot 107.9 and talking to us i mean your core audience is strong you are loved Thank i you. mean i can literally hear people all day singing from the top of their lungs and i mean your voice is just thank you we love and appreciate you queen oh i love and appreciate you guys too